Here is your latest Africa news. A large floating prison, which Western media like the BBC, Daily Mail, and the New York Times have been referring to as a floating accommodation barge, has arrived on the UK coast of Portland. The floating prison will be used to hold up to 500 single adult male refugees under Home Office plans to alleviate the pressure on the asylum system. The vessel's arrival on the UK coast of Portland was met with fresh protests from individuals who do not approve of the UK government's treatment of refugees as prisoners. Protesters holding signs reading no to the barge and no floating prison gathered at the dock while television crews filmed them. The floating prison, known as the Bibby Stockholm, is a three-story and 300 feet long vessel that was previously used to house refugees in Germany and the Netherlands. It faced criticism as an oppressive environment during its use by the Dutch government. The UK government has described its new immigration laws as essential to halting arrivals across the English Channel and other illegal routes. However, legal experts have warned that certain aspects of the new legislation could violate international laws protecting refugees. Over the past decade, the global refugee population has more than doubled, exceeding 30 million refugees in 2022. A common misconception, however, pertains to where refugees seek asylum. In most cases, individuals affected by the world's largest refugee crises are unable to reach high-income countries in Europe or North America. Instead, they find shelter in neighboring countries such as Iran, Uganda, Sudan, Ethiopia, Bangladesh, Pakistan, and Turkey, which collectively host almost 80% of the world's refugees. Interestingly, these countries rarely make headlines complaining about the challenges of hosting such a significant number of refugees. Meanwhile, certain European nations, who host only a fraction of that population, often act as if they are being overrun by refugees. Consequently, the United Kingdom's decision is widely seen as inhumane, racist, and xenophobic. Considering that the number of refugees seeking asylum in their country is less than 1% of the current refugees in need of assistance. Let us know in the comments below if you found this video informative. Please show your support by liking and sharing this video for the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive updates on our latest videos. And always remember, Africa is watching.